Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just give this window a little wash for two reasons. One, we'll get a better view through the lens and two, it should stick a little bit better as well. Because what we don't want is it to drop off. I'm not sure what the suction's like, we'll find that out in a second. Okay, so I'm going to put it up the top here, just low enough down from my rear view mirror so I can still see the display. Oh, that's going nowhere, that's rock solid. I didn't spot this till um, the other day. Uh, you get this little guide here, which I highly recommend that you keep in your car because it basically explains each of the buttons and their functions. You can see there's a diagram at the top. This little card could be super handy and you can just pop that anywhere really. It's tiny so it won't take up much space. What you also get is a cracking manual here. It's got tons of information about all the features. The main power source is this, which connects into your cigarette lighter. And if you spin that around, there's actually a, a USB port there so you can charge your phone or use your sat nav, so that's great. And there's tons of wire on that to get that around your windshield and underneath your dashboard neatly. But on this occasion, I'm going to be using a secondary method, which is the USB transfer cable that comes with the product it can actually be plugged directly into a um, portable power bank. This is the method you'd use if you wanted to give it power while the engine's off. So if you wanted to use it overnight with the parking sensor, then you would need a uh, power bank to give it the charge that it needs. So all we've got to do is just plop that in there. And as soon as you've got that on, it's instantly recording. So at the moment that's just um, showing the front view. If I go into mode, recording mode, dual camera. So we've actually got a front and rear view now and that rear view can be adjusted. Okay, so next to the menu button there's an up and down button there. And uh, if you press the left one, you just toggle that display on and off. And if you press the right one, it mutes microphone so if you happen to be singing along to your favorite song and you don't want it recorded you can just press that no one's going to hear your terrible voice let's just check that resolution out we've got 1080p there or we've got 720 i'm going to leave it on 1080p ah oh, okay recording loops the default's five minutes you can change that to one minute three minutes five minutes or ten minutes depending on how big your card is it will just create um, say ten minute segments of footage in normal mode and then when it gets to the end of your card it will then go back and start recording over the top so it will just keep recording over um, unless you press the event button and then that portion of um, footage will be put in the event folder and protected. There's a g-force sensor inside the unit so whenever you have a collision or there's some sort of impact it will automatically protect that footage. Also you can take snapshots, you can take pictures as well. So if I wanted to access my files on here I've, I've got two folders, normal and event. Um, There you go, I can just start watching the footage back anyway. Let's get on the road, shall we? Oh. It's been a while since I started this car. This is my main car. Well, it used to be. This is really old now, but it's still good. I think this is probably one of the most reliable cars I've ever owned. I'm not going to waffle, but um, I see no reason to sell it. I've got enough room on my drive for it, so it's like a backup car, really. So better put my specs on. So at the moment, I'm recording in 1080p, 30 frames per second, just with the front-facing camera. So, uh, oh, and I've got the microphone on. I'm guessing the microphone's not going to be all that good. I'll give you a little demonstration of the audio. What I'll do is I'll switch from the mic audio that you're hearing now over to the microphone of the footage I'm taking right this second. Um, where to drive to? I'm guessing the nearest coffee shop.
got my coffee. But what I also did was got a massive bag of beans. Bit of a struggle in there because apparently they're not supposed to sell it to customers. But I used my charm and uh, got a giant bag of beans for six quid, which will do me for about a month's worth of coffee at home. Lovely jubbly. So there we go, little uh, mission for a coffee, happy days, oh bollocks, oh illegal u-turn in the road, caught that on camera, I almost said typical woman but that's not true women are probably less likely to do a u-turn than the men <clears throat> but that was a woman a non-typical woman so I'm gonna just press this button to see if I can take a couple of snapshots uh, see if that works actually what I'm gonna do is just pull over Put it on a uh, rear view as well so we can have a look at both modes. Okay. I used to have a friend that lived down this road. He had a scar from his neck down to his uh, belly button. Apparently when he was a baby um, his heart was wrong and they had to crack, crack him open. Okay. This dash cam's tucked pretty nicely behind my rear view mirror, so there's no real obstruction at all um, with regards to my view. I know some people have them low down, like um, on the dashboard, but I think the preferred position is up behind the mirror. That's where you get your best field of view, which does look really good. I think it's about, I'll double check this, but I think it's about 170 degree angle view angle which is really good there you go this is a lovely bit of uh, stopping the middle of the road typical yeah mate oh nearly <laughs> we nearly had a bit of actual crash footage there <laughs> no that would just be too too weird wouldn't it so let's get back inside and um, see what it looks like right well that's gonna test if it's uh, shockproof because I just dropped it from about five foot up <laughs> Okay guys, what I'm doing now is I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit darker outside so I can go back out in the car and show you what it's like in low light and at night time. I just want to take this opportunity just to point out a couple of very small niggles that I've got with the product so far. The first one is the uh, micro SD slot. It takes up to 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, when I took it out for the first time it wouldn't release it wouldn't click and release so I was a little bit annoyed about that I'd like get my nail under it and prise it out I was gonna point that out not a defect but something I weren't too pleased about but after the first couple of times it seems to have restored its functionality in fact it will just spring out there you go so <laughs> I can't really complain about that now but when I first got it it did sort of stick in there so 
I'd, I'd be interested to know if, if it's the same, if you've got one of the units, if it was the same for you. The other small niggle I've got, or had, was on the cigarette lighter unit. The sprung pins on the side were a little bit on the tight side. So when you push it into the cigarette lighter, it was a little bit too snug for my liking. Uh, it's something that you can just relieve by squeezing it a few times. But you know, when I first took it out of the box, I did notice that. So those are a couple of small issues I've had with the product so far. Um, I've already edited the first portion of the footage and I'm really impressed with it, to be honest. Um, I weren't expecting it to be that good, especially the audio. Um, the audio was almost better than my road mic, so I was really impressed with that. Um, the picture quality in daytime is fantastic. And you may, may have seen on the footage that um, I was overlaying the rear view and the front view. They are actually saved as two separate files. They've got the same number, the file number, but at the very end there's an A and a B to indicate front and rear, I suppose. So that's brilliant. I, I was really impressed with that because for a moment I thought that it would just record the rear view in the top portion of the front view, but it doesn't. It's two independent files, so that, that's brilliant. Um, okay, it's getting a little bit dark outside now, so um, I think I'll head back out and show you uh, footage uh, in low light. I'll just take a picture. Hopefully that comes out. The rear view, you can't really see me anymore, but if I turn the... There we go. You can see me if I turn the interior light on. Okay. Okay guys, so that's the review of the Omdash M2 by Van I uh, hope you found it useful. There'll be a full review on the website as always uh, with specifications and links to the products. I'll also put product links in the description below as well. Uh, if you're watching this in October, there's currently a giveaway of $100 worth of tech products. So be sure to check that out and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.